In this video, I'm going to show you how to install plugins manually. The first thing to do is to come to the main WordPress website, which is wordpress.org, and then come over here to the Extend tab and click on Plugins. And you can see there are quite a large number of plugins available on this site, and you can select them either via search, you can have newest or recently updated or most popular and so on. So I'm going to search for a Facebook plugin for this demonstration and we do a search there we go there's all sorts of different ones here and let's say I want to add this one jetpack so I click on that it takes me to this page here which describes what it's all about and then what I can then do is come over here to where it says download version 1.13 click on that and then I can save the file to my hard drive just by clicking on OK go it's downloading to my hard drive now and there we go the downloads are complete so I can close this and close this one as well and now I'm going to upload the plugin onto my website and I'm going to go over to plugins and select add new Takes me to this page that says install plugins and I'm going to upload it from my computer's hard drive so click here on upload and then click the browse button so I can find it on my hard drive opens up this pop-up window here and the folder that I'm going to upload from which is WordPress plugins so I just simply select the plugin that we're going to upload which is Jetpack and click on open and then click on install now takes a moment or two to run through and there we go the plugin is now installed so all I have to do is click here where it says activate plugin and you need to connect to wordpress.com to enable all the features so click here okay I have to uh, enter my wordpress.com username so I just put that in there and my password and then click on Authorize Jetpack. There we are, that's all ready to go. The process will vary slightly depending on what plugin that you're installing, but this is the basic process of how you can upload and install a plugin onto your WordPress blog manually.